How are we doing guys? Martin here, back with the Sunday Good News. Uh, quite a bit to get through, so we'll just get stuck right into it. So we have Sunday football, so we just, we'll just, I'm not sure just back from that, dying. Uh, but last week, uh, really good, we are talking about this just where we finished up on the last one. So, absolutely amazing to get back, get with the guys again, get to play a bit. So, really tough. And my nephew Ty is absolutely amazing. Literally pegged us and was telling me when they let me hear the end there, so it's absolutely amazing. So he's amazing. Hopefully one of the days I'll actually get a video of him playing and show you guys how good he is because he's actually unreal. Uh, and a wee shout out for him as well, guys. He's doing Twitch, so if you can follow him, I'll put his name just here for you. So check that out. Make sure you give him a follow. Um, after that, guys, we had our game. So we were playing the game, find the one and only, we had the clues and stuff, that video is still being edited by you ready, so hopefully that will be with you soon as well. I can show you that you'll see a small clip at the end of something funny that happened within those videos, so <laughs> that'll, that'll keep that for the end for you. But now they're playing a new game, the new game is, the new game is hold but the one and only is holding. So guys if, you've just, if you're watching, that is your item, bonus item. Make sure you send it. Okay, so they have to basically send whatever I send them that I'm holding. And we do a bonus one where they get more points if they hold exactly what I'm holding. It's good fun. They're all going crazy. So <laughs> run about the houses. So we just finished our well, 6 o'clock game there. And I've just gave them a, bit, a bonus one in this that we'll get extra points for. So they have to get that screwdriver sent to myself. A picture of a screwdriver in their house. So it'll be good fun. So guys, that week there as well, something else we had, we had our interview, so if you didn't watch that, make sure you check it out. And also, every time I do an interview, I always take small points of things that the people I've interviewed have said, and things that I really liked and motivated me, and also things I believe you guys, just if you didn't really hear it, because I know the quality wasn't great, it was absolutely raining that day. So, if you, can, if you didn't hear them, and I'm still trying to sort out mics, I'll just go through some, some things that I picked up that... In the interview that I really liked. So we've got Kirsty for the first two. So what Kirsty was talking about was basically that who motivates her who motivates her is like her family and friends. All these people that are positive sticking around her. Um that's the kind of people you always want with you when you're doing anything. So you always want people supporting you. Uh, you really don't want anybody anyone really being negative at all. Um, but you definitely shouldn't get that for your family and friends. They should definitely be backing you 110 on whatever you're doing. And that is basically the second bit for Kirsty as well about obviously being surrounded by those positive people. They feel that it really helps them. And they've got just two little things here for Joe that basically go on together as well. He's talking about how the business, the way he's running the business, he likes to keep it as a team aspect. So like he's from a background of always playing football, always in a team and he knows that working with a team you'll always complete the task a lot better while trying to be a one man a one man a one man team. So don't know what happened there. Yeah, so what he know he he's using that aspect in his business with his family, that is his team. He was talking just at the end of the interview about how it's always nice to like if you really need it you should ask for help. And that's definitely a big factor on anything you're doing. I've got Reddy obviously helping me. He's a big basically a big key player of things I'm doing, editing, all that sort of stuff because he really is amazing at it so he does that for me and also his photography so it's good to have him and also I've got Joe and Kirsty and that I'm always surrounded by them so it's always pos positivity from them and we're always trying to do something good whether it's training, keep myself healthy or we're chatting about business and stuff like that and yeah that was it, that was the second part just about asking for help so absolutely fantastic that was a great interview if you've not seen it guys make sure you check it and also if you've not got any of that kit yet get on to the ultimate sportswear and get yourself some stuff next part of good news we had for that last week was donna so I'll put a picture of donna here deadlifting that was just her warming up donna is a client of mine she basically was training doing really good she lost all her weight she was she wanted to stop doing the weight loss she really wanted to get back into just she wanted to get into just training forgetting about the getting off the getting away from the scales and not, not caring about her weight anymore and caring more about the weight she was lifting. She was focusing really on deadlifts. So we got her up to 80 kilograms for five reps and she just showed up the other day and still got that 80 for five reps. So she's lifting 80 kilograms. It was absolutely amazing. 
we were jumping about like kids in the gym. So in the dungeon that you see where I do, I've been doing my interviews. So she got that 80k and it was absolutely amazing to see. So well done Donna. And I'll see you hopefully this week coming as well. And we'll get some more deadlifts going. Uh, we have my new toy. So my new toy. Oh, let's see if we can get it. Got my new toy, so I've just got the box here because I don't want to lift up for these guys. I bought myself a MacBook Pro. I have been wanting one of these for ages, so it was time. It was time it had to be done. So we've done it. We haven't got myself one, so this will be my hopefully the last video I will be editing through my phone. I'm still trying to get the hang of working it and stuff, so we'll get there. So we're the last one done my phone, so hopefully it looks a little bit better and the editing skills will be a lot better. A lot more to do on the MacBook, so I've been talking about it for ages, and my brother had one going on sale, so I had to go and get it as quick as I could. Absolutely love it, but uh, we have got the last bit, the last bit of good news for today was the ladies that I'm training, so you know, Shal Kirsty and Caitlin, ladies that I train with, they took today off, so they've been training for four weeks, um, solid, and had it was my good friend Peter's birthday, it was his 33rd, uh, took a, the only drink last night and we thought we'll just take a nice wee rest day and it was absolutely amazing to take that rest day because I've not slept in for the past, I'd say the, the ladies, Caitlin's been with me for I think five weeks now and the other girls have been with me for four weeks so we've been at it every single morning, we've been up early, we start at, I'm up at six then, I've got one of them at seven, then we'll, we go at nine as well. So we're, we've always been, every single day we've been on, we've not been off at all. And that was the first day we ever took off, just taking that rest day. And it was absolutely great just to have a wee lie in. And I got to make Ashley some breakfast in bed. So I hope she loved that as well, because it was good having me there. And also got to play with my youngest in the morning while my monster sleeps, which is Piper. <laughs> but guys, other than that, that's all the good news that I have from last week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, next week, hopefully, we will be, I'm going to try and take the phone with me and do a bit of vlogging, so I'll have a video for you guys seeing my training and stuff, so I'm going to try push back into the CrossFit aspect and I'll still be doing my daily running with Joe. Just before I go, actually, um, another good bit, a bit of good news, I've actually not wrote it down, that just came to me, was Joe and Ty, I was finishing up my game, so I couldn't go running one night and Joe and Ty went running and Joe got another PB and got a 25 minute 5k so that was absolutely amazing because don't forget in that video I was telling you about right near the start it was I think it was 32 his very first 5k so what a difference so that was absolutely amazing well done Joe big man shout out to yourself because that is amazing so yeah guys so I'll hopefully let you guys see my training you'll see my training with Joe and Gary and I think Ty might be joining us so that'll be really good to see um, get that going so that's made the main focus for next week get some vlog get some get you guys getting to see what I'm actually doing um, and we've still got our, I need to get my, those messages to Charlene we'll get Charlene on for an interview and I think that's all guys if not I'll keep you updated on the Facebook page if you're on there or on the Instagram and of course just before I leave I'll have that video for you guys so this was from our game find the one and only and while winners Daniel and Nathan I will drop your money off tomorrow as meant to do it today but it's been a busy one so I'll get that dropped off tomorrow get your winnings dropped off so well done for you guys you could use well so fast he's done amazing um, and that's it guys so thank you very much and enjoy this video see you later watch him jeans don't fall down jeans ah!